Um, it's not really a new concept because all over the world the traditional form of farming is family farming and also at the moment um, I think it's estimated that there are existing about 570 million farms in the world and more than 90% of them are still family farms. But the problem is that the conditions for these family farms are getting worse and worse. So the political uh, conditions, so it's, it's more and more difficult for these small family farms to survive. And, but on the other hand, many researchers in the world tell us that um, this form of farming is the prominent, the best way, for example, to, to protect the environment, to, to give work for the people in the rural areas, to avoid rural exodus, uh, to um, feed the people in the regions. So what we want to do is to strengthen this idea of family farming and also um, to show that, is, that family farming can be a concept for the future. It, it could transform our thinking about um, producing our food. So I think at the moment um, we are more and more uh, doing or uh, managing our food system in a catastrophic way because we are producing food, we are um, processing it, we are managing it, we are uh, uh, using it uh, in a way which is um, not good for the people, which is more and more unhealthy for the people and which is not good for the, for the environment, for the nature. And also we cannot feed the people in the world with this system. So um, what we want to transform mainly is the thinking about the food. So the thinking that food is not um, the, yes, food is um, a mean for living and not something um, for the market. And also the soil, the land of the farmer is not a thing to exploit more and more, but it's the, the basic for our living, for our life. Yes, it's an, a different attitude to this work. It's a sustainable attitude. Because the family links their life to this land and to their farm and they want to uh, hand over this land to the next generation and the next generation. So they don't want to exploit this land to get more and more money, but they want to preserve it. So the idea of family farming is uh, existing and also for example the United Nations they um, made the year 2014 I think to the International Year of Family Farming and many many people say that family farming is a, a very good way to organize our food system but the problem in, and many organizations are saying that but um, so it was easy for us to, to take over this, this idea and to spread it and so on. But the problem is that even if um, the United Nations and many researchers and so tell this, the concrete policy in the nations and also in the, on the international level is um, going in a, directly in the other way. So this is the problem. So it's... it's we, I think we have two targets. One target is to convince the people that family farming is not only a thing to, to tell, but also to, to, to bring in the concrete policy. 
And the second thing is to tell them more and more that it's um, a concept for the future, not for... Uh, I'm very happy that many people in many countries at the moment are thinking about uh, our lifestyle for example about how we organize our food and our food system I am very happy that many people think about it and discuss about it um, so I am hopeful I hope that um, it will also change uh, the policy mm -hmm.